Hello, my name is Sean Mackin. I play violin for Yellow Card. I want this to be my... I'm very excited that we just signed with Razor and Tie, and we're working on our seventh Yellow Card full length. Um, all of the musical band requirements for this next album is finished, and all of the things that are to be accomplished by people that are more interested in the full project or like they know more than we do, they're all taking over. They say you don't grow up, you just grow old. It's safe to say I haven't done both. I cannot reveal any information at this time, but uh, I'm really pushing for a 2014 yellow card release. That The last thing we want is to have it just draw out, draw out, but Razor and Tie has been great. And uh, I think for us, like we, we wanted to come off Warp Tour with a full head of steam. So if there are any Yellow Card fans out there, keep your ear to the ground. New music coming soon. We did a lot of things on this record that we, we haven't done in Yellow Card songs. And maybe you know we did some, uh, you know, some other production elements that make it sound a little bit more modern. We've done some things um, you know, with the violin on this album where people might not be able to recognize that, hey, that's the violin on a yellow card song. So we took a little bit of a risk. We stepped outside the box. I think it's refreshing, and I think because of that, it kind of gives the listener a new yellow card sound. Still some vintage yellow cards sort of sprinkled here and there, but uh, definitely a, a fresh look at our band. You know, it's, it's great for yellow card to be veterans of the Warp Tour. Um, for our first tour in 2002, you know, we. We were looking up to bands like No Use For A Name and Me First and the Gimme Gimme is a No Effects and sort of the new movement of punk rock that kind of shaped, you know, what a lot of bands sound like nowadays. And in 2014, it's just a dream uh, come true for us to share the main stage um, on Kevin Lyman's 20th anniversary. But I think it's changed a little bit and, I, and it's just, it's like life. Music is, is always evolving and, and art mimics life. And so you have a lot of heavier bands, you have a lot of, uh, you know, black wearing, screamy guitar stuff, which I, I think is great. Anytime you get popular music that has guitars in it, it can bring a live uh, energy um, to a show, but you're getting a lot of also electronic music. And I think the Warp Tour is now a little bit more diverse than it, than it has ever, um, than, it, than it's ever been. And I think that's just a testament also of Kevin Lyman and, and how he's able to stay fresh and give the listeners something that they want. With the Warp Tour, it's you wake up and you see your friends and people that you'll get a group of friends that you wouldn't get to tour with ever. And so the other night we played soccer. Um, my, my singer, he has pop-up goals, and we played soccer with Amberlynn and the Somerset, and we, uh, we are the in crowd. Like it was just like the perfect storm of of this awesome like sport sporting art artistic sporting event that you wouldn't normally see. So. I think those are the, those are the things that I'm most excited about is these little these little moments where you can just get a group of 50 or 60 people together. It's so much fun. Uh, it definitely is a circus, and it's going to be the best summer ever. Hello, I'm Sean Mackin from Yellow Card, and you're watching Pure Volume. So